Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. Okay. So we have this complex integration. We have to find its value with the help of Cauchy's residue theorem. So let us note down the given integral first. We will call it as I. We have I is equal to integration over C z plus 4 upon z square plus 2z plus 5 dz. This is a given integral. The second important thing is that curve. We should consider that curve and we have to draw it first. Okay. So what is a given curve? Given curve C is a circle. This is equation of circle. We have to draw that circle first. Then we will talk about the function. Okay. Where C is the circle, its equation is mod z plus 1 minus i is equal to 2. So we have to draw this circle first, but for that we need to have the center and radius. So let us see how to find center and radius of a given circle. Okay. What will I do? I will try to compare the given equation with this standard equation. This is a standard equation of circle z naught is center and r is radius of this circle. Okay. So we should express the given equation in that form first. Then we will compare say and we will find the center and radius. Okay. So therefore mod basically we should have z minus something and we have z plus. So I should write z minus minus 1 plus i. Okay. To bring this minus 1, I have considered minus here. If you solve the bracket, you will get the previous step again. At now we have got uh, the given circle in that form z minus z naught. So this bracket is our z naught and r is equal to 2. So let me mention here center is center is minus 1 plus i. It means the real part minus 1 and imaginary part that means multiple of i which is 1. So we have a circle with center minus 1 comma 1. Radius, radius is quite simple which is 2. So let us draw a circle with this center and radius. We have this space let us use. Okay. So this is imaginary axis and this is real axis. Let us take some scaling 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, right? So what is our circle uh, center minus 1, comma 1, minus 1, comma 1, here is a center, right? Minus 1, comma 1 and radius is 2, radius is 2, that means let us take 2 on this side, 2 on this side, here we will take 2, 1, 2, here also I will take 2. So we have to draw a circle which passes through these four points. Okay. So circle will be like this. This is a rough sketch. Okay. This is a rough sketch, but at least we will get an idea how will be the circle. Okay. So circle will be like this. So this is this kind of circle we have. So after that, we have to consider that function function. That means whatever we have inside this integral, that is our function. So we have, we have our f of z is z plus 4 upon z square plus 2z plus 5. So this is our function. Okay. So they have asked to solve this integration with the help of Cauchy's residue theorem. So let us recall the statement of Cauchy's residue theorem. Then we can see how to solve this problem. Right. So the Cauchy's residue theorem says that integration over C f of z dz is 2 pi i sum of residues. Okay, so by the Cauchy's residue theorem, we have to point, we have to find the points where function is not analytic. That means a singular point, right? Or generally we say the point where the denominator is zero. We will check those points are lying inside the circle or outside the circle. If singular points lying outside, no need to calculate residue. But see if point lies inside, we have to calculate residues for all those singular points. Then we take the sum of residues, then we take a product with 2 pi i and we get the value of integration. That means with the help of residues, we find the value of integration here. Okay. I will do the same. So now our next task is to find 
the point where the function is not analytic that means so where we get a denominator zero so let me clearly mention f is not analytic if denominator z square plus 2z plus 5 is equal to 0 okay so here the denominator is a polynomial of degree 2 so when we have a factors now we just by observation we can easily find a singular points but see here they have given a polynomial of degree 2 so i will find the roots here okay uh, so this is a quadratic equation do you know if you have a quadratic equation like this ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 so we have a formula to calculate its roots the formula is minus b plus minus root b square minus 4ac upon 2a this is a formula we have with the help of it we can find uh, roots getting so here if you compare the given equation with this one a is 1 b is 2 and c is 5 okay so therefore using this formula we will have z is equal to minus b minus 2 plus minus root b square 2 square 4 minus 4 ac 4 a is 1 c is 5 divided by 2 a 2 into a is 1 okay so using this formula we got this one okay so let us simplify it further so z is equal to minus 2 plus minus 4 into 5 20 4 minus 20 minus 16 2 into 1 2 so minus 2 plus minus root of 16 is 4 and root of minus 1 is i upon 2 if i divide separately we get minus 1 plus minus 2i so these are the points where the function is not analytic get it uh, see just make a screenshot of it first then i will go further so let us write them separately okay i will i will write them separately therefore z is equal to minus 1 plus 2i this is the first singular point and minus 1 minus 2i is the second singular point for simplicity i will call it as alpha this is alpha and z is equal to minus 1 minus 2i this is beta are singular points okay so just for simplicity i have called them as a alpha and beta let us find their position minus 1 2 so minus 1 comma 2 minus 1 comma minus 1 comma 2 here getting so this is the first singular point minus 1 comma 2 and the second is minus 1 minus 2 okay so minus 1 and minus 2 this is the second singular point minus 1 minus 2 so you can easily see that alpha lies inside a circle and beta lies outside a circle so let us clearly mention here alpha lies inside c and beta lies outside c so we clearly know that by Cauchy's residue theorem, we have to find residue only at those singularities which are lying inside. So that means we have to find residue only at alpha. No need to find residue at beta. So let us start to find. So residue of f of z at z is equal to alpha. So now the next question is how to find a residue. Actually, the definition of residue involves Lorentz series expansion but see i will not follow the uh, definition here since if it is a simple pole we have a separate formula to calculate residue and fortunately alpha and beta both are simple poles so we have to find residue at alpha alpha is a simple pole so that's why we can apply that simple formula to calculate residue so that formula let me tell you so limit z tends to alpha since we are finding residue at alpha z minus alpha f of z okay so this is a formula which i am applying here this is equal to limit z tends to alpha z minus alpha what is my f of z f of z is that z plus 4 upon z square plus 2z plus 5 right so this is a f of z see but now there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it first then i will go further so let us continue so now what will i do uh, let us write the limit again limit z tends to alpha z minus alpha 
न्यूमरेटर एज इट इज झेड प्लस फोर डिनॉमिनेटर इज अ पॉलनॉमेल सी बट वी हैव ऑलरेडी फाइंड इट्स रूट्स अल्फाइंड बीटा सो वी कैन एक्सप्रेस दिस पॉलनॉमेल एज झेड माइनस अल्फा झेड माइनस बीटा सिंस वी गॉट इट हैज टू रूट्स अल्फा एंड बीटा सो वी कैन राइट इन अ फैक्टर्स फॉर्म गेटिंग सो नाउ वी कैन कैंसल दिस झेड माइनस अल्फा झेड माइनस अल्फा राइट एंड वी हैव टू अप्लाई द लिमिट टू द रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ अ फंक्शन दैट मीन्स झेड प्लस फोर एंड झेड माइनस बीटा Apply the limit. That means simply at a place of z we have to put alpha. So what will I get if I put if I replace z by alpha, alpha plus four upon alpha minus beta, right? But see we know the value of alpha. Where is my alpha here? So let us put its value there. So minus one plus two i plus four. This is value of alpha. Minus one plus two i and value of beta also we know it is uh, there is minus sign huh, between them. Minus one minus two i. So let us simplify it further. Minus one plus four, three plus two i. Minus one plus two i. Minus minus plus one minus minus plus two i. So three plus two i in denominator. Minus one plus one cancel. Two i plus two i, four i. Okay, got it. So only one singular point alpha. It was lying inside the circle, and the second beta was lying outside the circle. so simply we found a calculator residue only at alpha so it's time to use cauchy's residue theorem by cauchy's residue theorem so by cauchy's residue theorem integration over c z plus 4 upon z square plus 2z plus 5 dz is equal to 2 pi i sum of residues so this is equal to 2 pi i right here only we have one residue so 3 plus 2 i upon 4 i so 2 i 2 i will get cancel that means you will have here pi by 2 3 plus 2 i so this is a required answer okay this is value required value of integration so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you in next video